In general opinion, we consider that if we implemented uh, the best security practices on our system, it might be the physical system or uh, laptop or desktop machines, or if we talk about the virtual machine. So we consider that if we implement the default options, like you can say, if I check the firewall, so here you can see uh, Windows Defender uh, with the advanced firewall security settings. So uh, here I can verify that inbound and outbound rules are implemented and enabled for all kinds of traffic. And at level two, if I talk about the best practices, so I need an endpoint protection application. So for that purpose, here you can see I have an endpoint protection application, which is SUFOS. So when I click on the SUFOS, so there are a number of options which I can explore over here. So here you can see the detection option. So under the detection option, uh, you can explore that uh, this application blocked a number of malware attacks over here. And also this endpoint protection application protected my laptop from many kinds of web threats over here and also block number of control items to protect my end device. In the same manner, if I try to explore uh, these all items in more detail, so here is the event option. Here you can see by date, this endpoint application blocked number of uh, uh, those applications which are really vulnerable or a kind of a threat to this endpoint uh, machine. So this application blocked all these kinds of stuff uh, on this endpoint uh, machine. And uh, if we uh, move forward, so at level three, I'm considering that we need the VPN connectivity, which will secure my all inbound and outbound data. So here you can see uh, if I open that setting, so the SSL VPN is running over here. So I protected my inbound and outbound data with the help of SSL VPN or you can say remote access VPN. So uh, I have implemented a number of options over here uh, for my laptop protection. Now if I consider more options so I need a centralized firewall from where I can secure the whole infrastructure. So for that purpose here you can see I have an other tremendous centralized firewall management management tool or you can say firewall uh, centralized firewall device which is Sophos XG. So here you can uh, see that uh, if I click on let uh, me to allow me to refresh this page. So uh, here you can see. Oops. Uh, so here you can see uh, it will show me a centralized uh, management option where it shows uh, one endpoint device is at risk. Uh, one endpoint device is at warning level while all other 73 devices are connected and secure perfectly. And if I explore more, so I need to click on this firewall option. So I'll need to explore further options related to the security. So now this centralized firewall is capable to secure my whole infrastructure. So it means that from endpoint to the centralized uh, network side, I protected the whole infrastructure. So in the general uh, consideration, uh, uh, we, we can say that now the IT infrastructure is completely secure, but it's not true because there are a number of other options which you can implement to secure your endpoint devices and virtual machines as well. So here you can see all kinds of rules and policies I have implemented over here. Uh, let me here you can see the VPN is implemented all kinds of services are running perfectly I can uh, check all kinds of parameters related to the security so uh, with the presence of all these options I'm considering that uh, uh, um, my whole IT infrastructure is completely secure but as I said that it's not 
true because there are other recommended settings which we need to deploy on our endpoint devices. So in the coming episode, we will definitely explore all those options which are completely related to the endpoint protection. So let's move with the next episode.